want your listeners to know this is just what they asked for. Those romantic lovers of the screen at their best. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, kids, it's a smash. Hey, Mr. Simpson. Nina, you were gorgeous. Yeah, Lena, you looked pretty good for a girl. Mom, for heaven's sake, what's the idea? Can't a girl get a word in that? Lena, the publicity department, Ron, here, decided it'd be better if Dawn made all the speeches for the team. Why? Oh. <laughs> Lena, you, you are a beautiful girl, and well, the audience thinks you have a voice to match. Well, what's wrong with the way I talk? What's the big idea? Am I dumb or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just that dogs had so well, much money. The chit chat, you love birds. Let's give another take. Hold it, Dexter, hold it. Mr. Simpson, we really roll it. Well, you can stop rolling at once. Uh, uh, Don, Lena, come here. All right. Everybody, save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. Tell them to go home. We're shutting down for a few weeks. Shutting down. What's the matter, all right? The jazz singer. That's what's the matter, the jazz singer. It's a sensation, and the public is screaming for more. More what? Talking pictures. <laughs> talking pictures. There's nothing but a freak. We picture. should have such a freak at this studio. I told you talking pictures were a menace, but no one would listen to me. Dexter, we have to put our best foot forward on this. We are going to make the dueling cavalier as a talking picture. Oh. <laughs> no, let's wait just a second, Daria. Talking pictures. Why don't we just hold on? You look, you try, you see. Every studio in town is jumping on the bandwagon, Roscoe. All the theaters are putting in sound equipment. We don't want to be left out of that. But we don't even know anything about this gadget. Huh? <clears throat> you look, hmm? you try. And you see. What's there to know? It's a picture. You do what you always did. You just add talking oh, to it. Don, believe me, it'll be a sensation. Lockwood and Lamont, they talk. Well, of course they talk. Isn't everybody? No! No! No, 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 you're talking might bring back the silent picture. <laughs> Shoot for three weeks and work day and night. Wait a minute, talking pictures without any time out of a job. At last, I can start suffering and write that symphony. You're not out of a job. I'm putting you to head of our new music department. Oh, thanks, all right. At last, I can stop suffering and write that symphony. Warner Brothers, watch out. Soon, monumental pictures will be making musical movies and motion picture history. <laughs> Casting her as the kid's sister in beautiful girl. Well, that's terrific. Well, thanks anyway, Mr. Simpson. It was nice of you. Now, wait a minute. What? Oh, that's all right, Mr. Simpson. No point in discussing it any further. I'm halfway off this loft right now. What do you mean? Well, before Mr. Lockwood refreshes your memory, you might as well know I'm the girl who hit Miss Lamont with the cake. Believe me, it was meant for Mr. Lockwood. I'm sorry, Santa. I should have told you about it. Goodbye. No, just a minute, Miss Selden. Oh, R.F., what's this all about? Well, we were thinking of casting Miss Selden in a featured role, but it would make you or Lena unhappy. Oh, unhappy? Well, no, I think it's wonderful. He's been looking for her for weeks. <laughs> Are you speaking for Lena, too? No, R.F. The owner of the Coconut Grove made you and Lena tell some true, but you are the head of this studio. Yes, I'm the head of the studio. She's hired. But don't tell Lena she's on the lot. <laughs> now it's all settled. Take care of it, Phillips. Oh, thank you, Mr. Simpson. that's Susan. wonderful. That's wonderful. Now look, we'll keep the whole thing a secret until the picture's released, just in case we put them off. But I'm a little worried about Lena. She doesn't like Miss Zelda. There could be fireworks. If she sees her, she'll kill her. Now, now I promise you Lena won't even know she's on the lot. I can't. Now the dueling cavalier can be saved. Let's think. The dueling cavalier with music. The title. The title's not right. We need a musical title. Well, think, everybody, think! <laughs>
The Dancing Cavalier. The Dancing Cavalier. That's the Dancing Cavalier. Very good, Cosmo. Cosmo oh, reminded me to make you a script driver. Oh, thanks, Ara. Here, have a cigar. Oh, well, thanks. Now, your Shirley is not going to find out about this. Oh, uh, don't worry. We'll uh, record all our songs at night. Oh, good, and, and then we'll, we'll dub them in with her dialogue when no one's around. Sensational, Cosmo. Remind me to give you a raise. Uh, RF? Yes. Give me a raise. What? Raise? That's the most ridiculous. You got it! Very good, Cosmo. Is that for me, Bob? Where's Stone? I think he's working with Kathy Selvin. So that's the problem. Hurricane Lena just stormed through here. Good thing I was in the inner office. Casting. So, <laughs> so Lena found out. She's upset. Hey, uh, RF, have you seen that new footage of the windshield numbers? Oh, that Selden girl is great, no matter what Lena says. As soon as the picture's released, I'm going to give her a big build-up. How much is left to do? We're still trying to crack that big production number, boss. Tap dancing. Huh? We've got to have tap dancing. You can't have tap dancing. The picture takes place during the French Revolution. We've got to have tap dancing. We've got to have tap dancing. See? What? <laughs> <laughs> How about this, Leon? We throw a modern section into the picture. Hmm? The hero is a young Broadway hoofer, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He sings and dances, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but one day, he's backstage reading A Tale of Two Cities. <laughs> and all of a sudden, a sandbag falls on his head, and boom, he drinks, he's back in the French Revolution. See? Sensational! Oh, Excuse me! <laughs> Cosmo, but uh, how do you expect to do that? <laughs> Close your eyes. Close your eyes and imagine this. Don't bring a frown to a
Alright, Donald, we'll do it. But I'll never see you again. 